Hello everyone, Blink here. Today I bring you guys a different type of series called Psychology Applied to Leak, where I bring you the latest discoveries in psychology that can help you improve at the game. Our brain is a pattern finding machine. It's great at taking in large amounts of information and finding a relationship between everything. In order to increase the speed at which it's able to recognize these patterns, it blocks out information that has identified as unimportant. Typically, it does a good job of identifying which information is important and which is not. However, when we are trying to learn something new or improve at something we've been doing for a while, our brain might require a little bit of guidance. How our brain chooses which information to take is largely out of habit. When we first get into game, we always look through the champions that are in the game but we don't always look at what secondary tree they took for their runes. After the first few games that we did this, our brain decided that which champions are in the game is important and which secondary tree they took is not important. So it stopped processing any information about secondary trees in order to make more room for the important information. But let's say that after a few games of getting surprised by a stopwatch, we decide that we want to start taking in which secondary trip will take as important information. Our brain is going to take a little bit of rewiring in order to undo the habit of not taking in this information. We need to train our brain to identify this information as important. The concept of training our brain to take in particular information is called priming. In his book, The Personal MBA, Josh Kaufman defines priming as follows. Priming is a method of consciously programming your brain to alert you when particular information is present in your environment. One of the fascinating ramifications of our brain's pattern matching function is that we're constantly scanning the environment for useful information. If you tell your mind specifically what you want to find, it will alert you whenever your senses notice it. There is so much information that we have to take during a game of League. In order to help us with this, our brain blocks out a lot of information that has identified to be unimportant. But as we look to improve at the game, a lot of the information that we didn't need while we were learning the game suddenly becomes vitally important. By understanding and using the concept of priming, we can overcome this barrier. One of the best ways to prime your brain is by setting a goal. When we set ourselves a goal, we are telling our brain what is important to us. When we set the goal, for example, of no deaths before 10 minutes, we are priming our brain to pay special attention to the information we need in order to complete our goal. The first game after we set our goal, the effect of our priming might be small. But after we repeat the act of priming over a few games, our brain will develop the habit of identifying this information as important. As we gain access to this new information, the pattern finding function of our brain can begin the process of identifying new patterns. Once we are able to routinely recognize these new patterns and react appropriately, we can start the process of priming over again. Patterns are very important in League of Legends. Being able to group what it seems like a bunch of random pieces of information together and recognize it as a singular pattern is what will lead you to respond in a more efficient and effective manner. Pro players have spent so much time priming their brain to learn and see different patterns. As you look to integrate the concept of priming into your practice routine, Remember that it's important to work towards developing one habit at a time. By trying to develop too many habits at once, you are decreasing the quality of the habits that you create and increasing the chances that the habits are not gonna stick. This is why I recommend using one primer for at least 5 games. This is the lowest number of games required for your brain to start collecting particular type of information. Any less and your brain will quickly return to filtering that type of information out. I hope you found the video helpful guys. I know this one doesn't have studies supporting this information as psychology is hard to make studies of. But give it a try and let me guys know your experience in the comments.